And welcome back. And we are moving into our second segment for today as we discuss the season premiere of From Yes to I Do. And we have with us on set Makelwar Garcia, who is the creative director at Confetti. We have Jaime Correa, who is the owner of Confetti. And on the end, we have the producer of From Yes to I Do, Stephanie Daniels. Good morning and Good morning. welcome. Good morning. And thank you all for being here. <laughs> so, early. so early. You guys are oh. used to all kinds of, of uh, time. So let's start off and uh, talk about the partnership that we have once again between Channel 5 and Confetti. Right? You want to start? <laughs> I'll let you go first. Okay. Um, basically, we've embarked on this journey for this new season of From Yes to I Do. Yester yesterday, last year, we had a very successful <laughs> year. And... Um, we thought it was a good venture to, you know, once more go with it. Mm -hmm. um, this time we, we were giving the show a little twist. Mm -hmm. um, so we're excited that we're able to show how we've grown, mm -hmm. how we've learned over the past year, um, everything that we have been exposed to. Mm -hmm. And we're ready to, for Belize to see the new changes and everything that we have coming Can up. Can you share what that twist is? Or? <laughs> A little. Well, I think when we came on um, to do the call for the applications, we mentioned that this year we would have brought back the competitions. So that's the first twist that we added. Um, we had 19 applications. So we are very thankful to all the people who um, wrote in and shared their stories with us. And from that pool, we selected the couples that you'll see in tonight's first episode. Mm -hmm. And we. Um, you know, we had a lot of fun. We put them through some tests because naturally, this wedding is um, at the cost right now, fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. So we, it's not something we wanted to just give away. We, you had to work for it, and we were able to put them through some competitions to see how well they were as a couple, how well they knew each other, and the winner then, you know, emerged from those competitions. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> And we can't get any more information than that, I guess. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's, it's exciting, you know, and one of the, one of the um, things that we know here at Channel 5 is when you put off a great first season, the pressure is on mm -hmm. the following season, the following season. So Yes, So I Do is now in the fifth, its fifth season, mm -hmm. and uh, it's second with Confetti. Yes. And so after you guys wowed all our viewers with that amazing wedding, that we had uh, last year. Uh, tell us, uh, how, how pressured do you feel to be able to, to deliver this time again? <laughs> Let's get my family, the creative director. I mean, you have that all the time with your list. regular weddings, but this one is like on TV. People will mm -hmm. see the full process. Well, like Hamid said, um, through the year we've grown, we've learned a lot, we've been following trends. Um, so we want to give something different, something bigger. Mm -hmm. um, the last year so we'll just have to stay tuned we can't even say much more yet mm -hmm. you just have to wait and see but it's going to be amazing that we can tell you one of the do one <coughs> of the things that i can add is that luxury weddings are on the rise mm -hmm. and luxury weddings are trending mm -hmm. um so it has been our main focus to show that it is available in belize yeah um, that we as event planners, wedding planners, that we have the resources, mm -hmm. we have the knowledge and we have the expertise mm -hmm. that we can be able to highlight it on TV so that everybody can, can, you know. And when you say luxury, you mean like glitz and glam? Glitz like and glam, glitz oh, and okay. glam, everything, the bigger the better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. And we know that Confetti has really evol evolved into kind of a one-stop shop for weddings. Um, last year, we saw the launch of Brides by Confetti. Um, you ventured into Blooms by Confetti. Yeah. So really, uh, mm -hmm. you'll be able to work with the couples in every detail. How yeah. much does that change the final outcome? I mean, before when you were just doing event planning and sourcing from other places, it, it, meant, you, it meant that you were reliant on what was available. Well, what it does, it, uh, it gives us a higher standard because we are able to control the, the, the standard within our own, um, within, within our own group. Mm -hmm. um, the flowers are of a better quality, the dresses are, to, like I said, a better standard. Mm -hmm. So once we are able to control all these factors, then it's easier for the bride and the groom to come 
to one place, meet one person, and from there on continue with um, the full planning, you know, sourcing the DJ, the cake, everything that involves the full wedding planning mm -hmm. package. Now this is the planning of a wedding, but it is also a reality show. We get mm -hmm. to document it along, along the way. Tell us, how real <laughs> is the story? How much are we really seeing the process of wedding planning? <laughs> it's very real. It's very real. Um, when we met with the, with the couple, we advised them that they have to be as obviously as natural as possible because mm -hmm. it's a real natural process. And I want to transmit that to the audience because clients need to see what the process is like when they select us to, mm -hmm. to do their weddings. Yeah. We had a film in this weekend and um, it included the couple. I have to be very careful that I don't call their names. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, uh -huh. the couple and their family. And what I liked about that, um, what we did was that you got to see how a uh, wedding changes somebody's life completely and how you know because at this function the two families came together and for them for some of them it was the first time they were meeting each other and so you got all that interaction you got all that first time meeting this cousin and that cousin and you know and i feel like that's part of the thing when you think of a wedding you think of a ceremony but you don't necessarily people don't necessarily think of how much it changes you know, the whole, the, the way you're going to live, the way you're going to operate, two families coming together. And I felt that um, for this season, that was something, that's something that's going to be a good highlight to see the interaction, to see how well the couple start planning a life together outside of the dress and the flowers <laughs> and the, you know, <laughs> the souvenirs and, and all of that and how they together. make decisions mm -hmm. and how they solve issues. So yeah. I'm looking forward to that. So, Makelor, we see you in the interview process. Tell us about uh, what it was like trying to select couples. It was very interesting because after hearing everyone's story, you wish you could have given all of them mm -hmm. a wedding. Yeah. But the reality is you had to pick who wanted it more. And mm -hmm. like Stephanie mentioned, this year they had the competition. So they all had that chance to win it, but it yeah. was who wanted it more. You know, and it was different personalities, it was different love stories, amazing love stories, I should say. You know, I had my favorites, everybody had their yeah. favorites, but uh -huh. the winner was the one who wanted it the most. And we had applications from every district. Yes. Yeah. So 19, 19, 19 couples yes. applied, and then from South, West, North. Young, old, people who have been together 13 years, people who have been together, you know, shorter times, people who met on Facebook, people who were separated and came back together, people who, um, you know, picked up, walked the into one other who families. Was, um, Cupid to another couple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she was the Cupid and then the couple she set up broke up and then, then they, they got decided together. to oh, get together. Wow. <laughs> people who didn't it like was, each other at first and he's like cussing each other yeah. on Messenger <laughs> and then somehow it and somehow went to heart emojis. I, you know, I don't understand yes. that process. <laughs> it was so 19 <laughs> couples applied and it was narrowed down to, to 10. I believe. To 10. 10. And then yes. they had the competitions? No, no, then we narrowed it down from the 10 to 4. So mm -hmm. there's four in the competition. So there are three <coughs> rounds to get to the yes. number of people no, that we're okay. going to see tonight. Yes. Mm -hmm. Application process first, and then we did an interview. Because it's one thing to read a story on mm -hmm. paper. It's something completely different to meet the face behind the story and get the vibe and all of that. Mm -hmm. So. Um, that process we felt was necessary to make sure people were accurate and that people were <laughs> were um, genuine and sincere. Because we do want to put on a wedding that also has um, the couple last. It's yeah. not just about... Yeah. Now yeah. tell us, Jaime, because one of the things is that people see this process um, and it almost looks so easy to plan a wedding. Mm -hmm. Anybody who's had a family member plan a wedding or been witness or perhaps helped plan their own notes, it can be very stressful. <laughs> um, what is it like to do it for television in a reality format? It adds, it's shorter. That's what shorter, a lot of people don't know. Which adds uh, an extra dimension of pressure mm -hmm. because not only do you have to do it at a faster pace, you have to do it publicly. Yeah. So. Um, you have to be very meticulous, obviously, as in every event that we plan, but there has to be a, a higher level of detail that you need to pay attention. Mm -hmm. um, wedding planning in itself is a complicated process, yeah. uh, coordinating all the logistics and having everything put together in one place at one specific time for that dream day. So um, 
yeah, it does make it a little bit more challenging. But I think that is what gives it the edge yeah. and that's what makes us want to do it more because it raises our level to a higher standard. So the show culminates <coughs> with a live wedding, right? Yes. Live productions are a lot of fun, <laughs> <laughs> right? Let's say it that way, good and bad that comes along with it. But it also means that we have a very strict deadline. The wedding is set for what day? February 17th. February 17th. So we're starting planning exactly now. Exactly, from today. <laughs> Wow. One month. One month. Hmm. And I think that's... And one week. month before the wedding, how prepared, like, how, yeah. how much has been planned? Most of it has been planned. Okay. Um, <laughs> however, there are decisions that the couple needs to make. So that mm -hmm. will be happening throughout the process. Mm. And I'm, I'm just curious, um, outside of reality TV or outside of produ producing the show, is it possible to plan a wedding in a month? Yes. Yes. yes? Oh, mm -hmm. oh, he said that like yes. <laughs> <laughs> we've done it actually. Yeah. Um, we've do, we've pulled off the wedding in three weeks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it, it does happen in reality. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Some people just say, let's just get it over with, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And um, <coughs> what is usually the most difficult decision for a couple to make? I think the most important and the most difficult decision for them to make, at least for the wedding day, is who they're going to invite for that wedding. Um, narrowing down your number of contacts and your number of friends from 1,000 on Facebook and 2,000 on Instagram <laughs> to logistically and reality-wise to probably 100 to 150. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. you and get that's the, still you, a big wedding. You get to filter is. out who is your friend who you want there, who, whose presence you really value. Mm -hmm. So that is the number one issue that I see with couples because the groom doesn't want to invite this one, this one doesn't want to. So and the bride me, wants to invite everybody. <laughs> At the end of the day, they want everybody to see their love. They want to see the glitz and glam and everything. But and the parents of the yeah. couple want That's all the their friends one, yeah. there. And the pastor from the <laughs> church and everybody else. Or right? sometimes different religions. Yeah. Different religions. But I think mm. the religions have been compromised a lot. Um, a lot with just the legal component. But that final invitation <laughs> list has still been a headache. <laughs> yeah, our couple already asked, are you sure that's all we can invite? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Wow. So okay. And uh, other fun decisions that come along the way that you like to watch them try to make a decision on? I like the cake. You like the cake? Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. Because now wedding cakes are so fancy, they're not just like it's just not a cake tower anymore. white no. cake yeah. with it, flowers. A cake is a work of art now. Mm -hmm. So they, the couples take a very, like, are, are very microscopic on the details of mm -hmm. the cake. So. And you know you have the bride and the groom want a different flavor from each other. Oh. So one layer of the cake, let's say, would be chocolate, the other would be vanilla or <laughs> strawberry, something. You have that a lot. No, it's not like before where it's just one flavor one, for yeah. each layer. Yeah, yeah. Here. There's always marble, right? <laughs> <laughs> so All right, and uh, what about trends for weddings? Uh, you know, you guys are in this industry. This is not the only wedding you'll be pulling off. You probably already started. Um, what are some of the things we can expect in 2018? And before we get into that, we want to acknowledge the fact that you actually, this award here is yours. You have uh, been named the Boutique Wedding Specialist of the Year 2017 by Luxur Luxury Travel Guide. Tell us about that. Um, well, this is a, an award from the UK. Uh -huh. um, we're actually very privileged to have been nominated uh -huh. and actually won um, for the America's um, division. It basically caters, well, it's a publication as well. Um, uh -huh. it, it's a, a magazine. Uh -huh. And basically what they do is that they promote um, luxury. Uh -huh. Luxury across the scope of restaurants, um, hotels, mm -hmm. venues, and obviously wedding specialists. Yeah. And like, it, like you mentioned, we won the boutique wedding specialist up there. It was quite a privilege. Um, it does offer us a lot of exposure. Mm -hmm. um, this magazine is um, circulated among the airports, top hotels. So definitely it offers uh, a perspective about what is available in Belize. So I, we 
are really thankful to them and we're happy to have one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it means you have to make sure you earn the 2018 as well. <laughs> it's a challenge. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a big challenge. And like you said, you always have to be going over the top. Yeah. And since you mentioned trends, um, trends continue being over the top. Um, people Just want a smaller wedding in terms of the number of guests, uh -huh. but they want to spoil those guests that they have. Mm. So getting to that final smaller list is going to be hard, but that is the trend. Yeah. Having a smaller wedding, a more intimate, but having a more luxurious wedding. Um, colors are varied across the, um, the different continents. Mm -hmm. um, some of them we're going to see for, from Yes to I Do. <laughs> so um, basically that's where we highlight these things as a medium for Belize, you know, to become more educated and yeah. more cognizant of the fact of which these trends and all yeah. that. And what would you say um, distinguishes Confetti from other event planning companies in Belize? The, the main one is that we are all inclusive. We have all our um, services included in our package. Um, we have a storefront where our clients can actually visit us. We, mm -hmm. That's where we conduct our interviews. We're the only ones that have that. Mm -hmm. um, we're the only ones, like I said, that have our own bridal studio, our own floral studio. And uh, just to touch a little bit of that, um, now we're actually in the expansion process. Um, mm -hmm. We've uh, expanded over to San Pedro, yeah. um, but we're also in expanding internationally now. Um, we have grown to a point where we're comfortable enough to launch our services in a more aggressive manner mm -hmm. to bring weddings to Belize. Mm -hmm. um, that we're doing through Marin Belize, it's going to be a portal that's coming soon. Mm -hmm. Basically, we're launching adventure weddings, we're launching high-end weddings to um, <coughs> overseas clients. Mm -hmm. And we're excited of, of that process because yeah. basically now we're going to be in the limelight. We have trade shows in the US, mm -hmm. we have printouts in magazines. So it's not only offering confetti as a package, but mm -hmm. offering Belize as a package. So we definitely do see an increase in, in what we do. How competitive is Belize for destination weddings? Because I've, I've been to quite a few in Mexico, for example, and the advantage they have is the cost of the flowers, the size of the venues, and all the added perks that you can get there that we don't usually have available in Belize. So how, how competitive are we? We are competitive mm -hmm. in the sense that um, at least our, our services, we try to offer it at an affordable rate. Yeah. Um, not only that, um, because of the scope of, of, of events that we do, we have been able to source flowers at a cheaper rate. We have mm -hmm. been able to, to have things here readily available rather than outsourcing them. We go directly to manufacturers rather than getting to the middleman. So in terms of the products that we use, we are definitely at a competitive <coughs> advantage because we have them available here. Okay. Um, what does also give us a competitive edge is the fact that uh, regionally, as well, not to, to look down on any other country, but unfortunately because of the incidents, and sorry, the hurricanes yes. that happened over the Eastern Caribbean, a lot of people are heading towards the Western Caribbean. Yeah. We have our attractions, we have not only inland, but we have island as well. Yeah. We have in the sea, we have, we've launched weddings in the Blue Hole. So yeah. basically all these things. Blue Hole weddings? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have jungle beaches, we have everything that anyone needs. So basically I think that is how we, we market ourselves and yeah. we position ourselves so that we can compete against then that might be a little bit cheaper. I want to see a zip line wedding. <laughs> <laughs> or a rock climbing wedding. I see your ball I need to have an adventure, yeah? <laughs> well, <laughs> Scream your balls as you zip across, right? <laughs> you'll, be you, you'll be seeing some of that. I, uh, no, I'm sure from, people, yes, so I do. <laughs> people want crazy stuff yeah. now. It's like uh, the, the wilder or the more... I, actually, I guess it's a novelty. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. if you're the first to do something, people are really excited about it. And, I, and that's the question I really wanted to get at from both the show perspective and from what you do with confetti why is it that we you find people are so drawn to watching this process you know you're talking about 
single people, you're talking about married people, you're talking about people who are much older and wiser and <laughs> realize that perhaps there's too much money being spent on a wedding. <laughs> but they love the process, you know, from yes to, from say yes, yes. to the dress is a huge mm -hmm. show. Um, but somehow we're just all drawn to it. What do you think the reason is? People love a good love story. They love to see, I think most women think of getting married and walking down the aisle in the dress and most women. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, I think that that's, that's the appeal in it, getting to see somebody else have their moment mm -hmm. and, and being able to, um, you know, support them in it, even if it's from the comfort of your living room. Yeah. I think that's mm -hmm. the appeal. What do you that think? That in addition to the also want to see what's new, what's happening, mm -hmm. what's out there, especially if they have plans of getting married later on in the year, mm -hmm. yeah. they're looking to see, oh, what we were talking earlier, trends, things mm -hmm. that are happening, what's the latest. Yeah. Everybody wants the latest. So I think that in itself has also offered a specific type of market mm -hmm. for people that are planning on getting married. And you know, people just like weddings. Maybe people mm -hmm. don't like marriages, but they <laughs> love weddings. It, it's the fantasy you know? and the yeah. beauty and <laughs> true. It's the, the dream you come true. Weddings, yeah. yeah. And these, these applicants were so clear on what they wanted, so that might be it indeed. <laughs> Down to the color and yeah. you know, the patterns and everything. So, And uh, what about dress selection? That will be done at our studio. Okay. Um, obviously, um, dresses change by season, mm -hmm. so we'll definitely What's have What's in some. right now? We still have a lot of lace. Okay. Um, however, the, the cuts are... Um, rather than the very wide dresses, you yeah. have more, more minimalistic to a certain degree. Mm -hmm. So that's that's coming up. You see a lot of ruffles. Mm -hmm. Definitely a lot of ruffles. Mm -hmm. What are you most excited uh, about working with this particular couple in in choosing? You have to tell us who or why <laughs> or where they're from, but just. Um, knowing from w from your own interactions with a couple, what are you excited well, about? Well, they're very humble to say the least. They're mm -hmm. a beautiful couple, their mm -hmm. story is real. Mm -hmm. You know, like you meet with them, they're like, they have these cute little things that they'll be touching each other's face. You're like, mm -hmm. they do it subconsciously, yeah. that it's just immune to them that they're yeah. doing. And you know, you look at them talking, they look at each other like to finish each other's sentences or. <laughs> They're talking, what do you think about this, babe? Or remember we discussed this and they're like, you know, they're playing with each other's fingers, their faces. And it's just, it's just nice to see a young couple so in love like that. They're excited. Mm -hmm. They're excited beyond words because they're, and they're very open to suggestions. They, they trust us completely. Mm -hmm. You know, they just want to get married and start the rest of their lives together. There's a particular, um, I'm going to use, <laughs> item that they like okay. and I happened to have one of them in the studio mm -hmm. and I went it that went and get got it and did some stuff with it and uh, like the minute they saw that they were like I'm so excited already so you can definitely see <laughs> that is such a tease <laughs> tell us what it is <laughs> the item. yeah the item, the so, item. <laughs> but it was actually cute to see that like you could have Seeing them like they just like oh, the moment they saw that they were like mm -hmm. their communication got is so much more excited. The interaction between the two of them and their communication, I think that's what will be a big hit <coughs> for the show. They're very comfortable and natural, and yes. they have a way of talking to each other that I think you know will be good to see in such a young couple because they're yeah. young. Do they seem solid? Because you know, we, we've had experiences with this show and, and people love watching the love story, <laughs> but they also love to put it, to watch it through their own lenses. In other words, they think the girl should be more outspoken or less outspoken, and the guy should be more decision, involved in decision making or less involved. In. You know, there's, there's no telling. Mm -hmm. So uh, have they been, have you talked to them about what it means to be uh, featuring your love story yeah. on TV? Yes, they're very well aware of what it is, yeah. what they're getting themselves into. Mm -hmm. And they're very comfortable with each other and within themselves. So they should be really good. Hmm. And they've I been very it. open with us in terms of the struggles they've had as a couple and the things they've overcome. And I think that's what kind of stood out in their application, that they recognize that this wouldn't be um, uh, better roses, so to speak, but mm -hmm. that it's something that they'll have to consistently work on and 
um, put effort into, and I think that comes across in how they, you know, deal with each other. So the venue has already been selected. Yes. That much mm -hmm. we know, right? Uh, are we having outdoor, indoor? What, what can we expect? Yeah, t give us some detail. Let's go. Some For behind the scenes the treats. Eight thirty. Eight thirty. Eight thirty. Eight thirty. Eight thirty. Eight thirty. Every 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 Tuesday at eight thirty, we will be having all those updates. <laughs> Man. We're trying to be very careful. <laughs> So you want to give any side words available here. But it's definitely going to be an exciting <coughs> journey. Um, it's going to be a very beautiful one. Yeah. Um, I think, like, like they've both been saying, they've had a little bit more interaction in the couple mm -hmm. with the couple than I have. So, but the, what I've seen from them gives me enough confidence in them and know that it will go. It will be a very good show. Yes. Okay. All right. So the show starts tonight. You get to see uh, the first round of competitions mm -hmm. with uh, the couples and uh, eventually you'll find out who is going to be walking down that aisle on February 17th. So all the excitement starts tonight, I mean, leading up to the month of love. Mm -hmm. We also have a few promotions going on. With Brides by Confetti, we have 50% off on all dresses within the studio up mm -hmm. until February 28th. Mm -hmm. um, Blooms by Confetti, we're offering a 20% discount on pre-orders only for flowers ordered for Valentine's Day. Okay. Oh, yes. So, all of everything that we're doing is heading towards Valentine's The Day. love month. <laughs> yes. All right. And then after Valentine's Day, then we have our big one. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, so thank you all for being here. Oh, and let me say before we leave, we have the From Yes to I Do Facebook page. So mm -hmm. we'll also be posting behind the scenes stuff on the page and we get your feedback from there as well. And of course for our viewers uh, outside of Belize, we'll be streaming mm -hmm. the show live right. there as well. Because we know there's quite a number of people in the diaspora that love to follow <laughs> our shows. That's where you'll find it. Thank you so much for coming in and thank best you. of luck yeah. with your... Uh, <laughs> One month deadline. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And we'll be tuning in every Tuesday night. It repeats on Thursdays and on Sundays. Mm -hmm. um, so you will be able to see uh, the show as it progresses towards the live wedding. Thank you. Thank you, too. We're going to go ahead and take a break. And when we come back, we'll be talking about mindfulness for stress management. So stay tuned.